right from the inception of our civilization mother nature has played a pivotal role to rear us we always get our respite in her soothing cradle sometimes it is in the form of deep greenery with its all encompassing branches stretching their arms to embrace us sometimes it is in the form of river but what we give back to her we destroy her we cut the trees when we need to protect it we exploit the river when we need to save it just like our society has failed to protect our women likewise we have also failed to protect our mother nature but still all is not lost and the silver lining still beckons us karsi to some people who are ready to go at any length to protect the nature environmentalists and some ngos all across the country join their hands to govern the nature they are fighting our battle and with limited resources chippo movement is one of them it is an initiative by the women of our country which shows us the bonding between the nature and the human beings we were overwhelmed to see how women were hugging the trees to protect them from being felled it was passed initiated by amrita devi while protesting against a kinsman to cut the tree the modern chipko movement started in the early 1970 in the garhwal himalayas of uttarakhand by the time of 1980s the movement had spread throughout india and led to the formulation of people sensitive forest policies which put a stop to the open felling of trees in regions like windias and western ghat its leader was sundarlal bahuguna who was considered to be the main figure of cultural feminism in the country of india these women are challenging the mighty corporate big wigs we need to support them as the umbilical cord interwoven between the nature and the human beings should go on as this is the law of the universe it is the attitude of the patriarchal mindset who are always willing to dominate the nature like they dominate a female body they always use the nature like the female race but they give nothing back to them now the time has arrived when we need to be cautious in our approach towards the nature she has suffered a lot now we need to protect her the patriarchal mindset of domination against the women and the nature should change and this is the only way our nature can be saved